what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing another holiday look yes another one I told you we're gonna go through as many colors as I can think of or that I have in my collection but we're gonna be doing another holiday look today and today the color is orange usually my shirt corresponds with the color that we're gonna be using I hope you can hear me good because I have one of those clip on your shirt mics and with this sweater, I couldn't clip it on, so I kind of have it in front of me. And yeah, that's my story. So, like I said, I naturally don't speak loud. That's the reason I got a mic. But it's not directly on me like it's supposed to be, so I hope you can still hear me. I hope the sound quality is good, because I would hate to get through this whole video. And when I get to edit it, you can't hear anything. So, I'm going to try to be mindful of that. We're going to jump right in today. I, it took everything in me not to keep pulling and pulling because y'all know I like to mix palettes. But I only pulled two palettes today. Yes, I know. That's surprising, right? Because I could have kept for the color orange. Y'all know orange is a color that is in every palette you buy. And I could have kept on pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, but I didn't. I resisted the urge. So I did pull the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Armed and Gorgeous. I cannot help myself. So this is what that looks like. And I do like those palettes. I know a lot of people don't care for those palettes. But like I said, when you want to recreate a look that you've seen on somebody's channel or seen on social media, just use a color that's close to it that you already have in your collection. You don't have to use the exact same shadows. And of course, I used, I pulled this baby right here because y'all know what I say about these pricey honeys. I'm going to get some use out of my... Um, Palette. So this is the Sunset Palette by Natasha Denona. And yeah. And I'm going to go into my brows are on and my lids. I do have some concealer on them. Not a whole lot. But yeah. I was this morning. I'm going to go into the center shade. Which is called Horizon. And it's this one right here, just a basic orange shade. Like I was saying earlier today, I was looking on YouTube and I put in the search bar orange eyeshadow looks because I, I like to get a little bit of inspiration. I mean, you see looks, they inspire you and you put your little spin on it. So I'm just continuing to fluff that, that same shade in the crease. And we're just going to build that shade up because, like I said, today's color is orange. And when I commit, I commit. We're going orange today. I never know what I'm going to do until I'm halfway through. But, but I'm going to go in that shade next with the same brush. Just take it a little bit down just a tiny bit. Not too much further down, but. Just a tiny bit. So I think I want to go a little bit deeper, which this is like an orangey brown. And I'm going to go in that shade right there. And I'm going to take that a little bit lower. And I'm trying to stay true to the color and stay in the orange and not go too much into like browns and other shades. Because this is an orange look. And I took a brush that's just a little bit smaller since I'm going lower. And you know our lid space is compromised already. So we're just back and forth and we're staying orange. Orange. Aren't you glad you clicked on this video? Now share it with your friends. Share it with your friends, your mama. Coworker, your daddy, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, everybody. So I'm gonna go into this brown that is called 
volcano and it has an orange undertone I think and I'm just gonna put that on the outer V you see that pigment we ain't tapping nothing on you pay for it you better use it so I went on the melt website again to see if the baby stack um, baby stack she's I don't know why I keep saying that that's the baby girl stack the she's in party stack was available because that I like those mauve tones and like I said when I was looking at my collection I don't really have a lot of that so this is an orange looking orange is a pretty basic color in the makeup world so we want to add some like pizzazz to this I saw somebody last night I was watching the video I'm always watching videos and they took the wand of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and carved out their brows. You know how big that wand is? I wish I had that much lid space. I'm going to take this. What is this? It's a Delium Too. It always says it's concealer brush. Maybe conceal under your brows with this. And I'm just going to tap that concealer out them folds be getting the best of me that hooded eye challenge shit I'm gonna go into this fiery orange right there and I'm gonna just start packing that on the center of the lid and I'm doing one eye at a time on purpose because the concealer dries so quick and I want somewhat of a sticky base okay we just want her down the center So my purpose for doing it this way is one to give the illusion that the eyelid is way bigger than it is and two because it just felt right <laughs> that's this like it looks like it's a yellow orange I don't know but I'm gonna put that closer to the inner corner so we can start bringing this look together and I'm using a tiny 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 detail brush from BH Cosmetics BH Cosmetics makes bomb brushes bomb and I'm gonna go towards the inner part of the eye Yeah, you seen it flake down because I don't tap my brush off and um, I pack it on and I'm disrespectful with my eyeshadow. Here we go. And I'm going to, what should we put on the edge to tie it together? To tie it together. Hmm. I'm going to take this Naked Heat palette and I'm going to go into, do I want to go into Fuego? Yeah, I'm going to go into Fuego, which is kind of red. It's reddish. And I'm going to put in Fuego on the outside. Yes, I pulled out another palette. Don't judge me. I need some dimension. Hmm. Fuego. Yeah. Fuego is giving us the spice of life. This is where we stop. 
we stop and then and then I'm gonna go back into the orange shade horizon in the middle and I'm gonna go <laughs> around everything everything just softly basically I'm gonna go back into all the colors that we went into we will be right back and we will finish the face together I'll be right back. Don't move. Okay, guys. We are back. I didn't do too much off camera. I just put on, per usual, I put some foundation on. Of course, I mixed. I mixed a NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and my CoverGirl True Boy Matte Mate. My concealer is marinating in. And I'm sorry, guys, if today I've been, like, my energy's been low. I just been feeling a little bit down and it's just that simple I can't uh, sometimes I don't fake very well but I've just been feeling like I'm working so hard and I'm not reaping the benefits and I know in due time things come how, how y'all think this eye is looking I don't know if I'm here for it I don't think it looks bad. So we took a, that dark brown in the palette and we just basically made a wing out of it because y'all know I don't know how to do a wing. So now I'm gonna take some, I'm not feeling like I wanna be super bright today so I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier in my beautiful holiday packaging. And make sure you get all them creases out girl because what you said, what? So I am going to take a little bit of Sasha Buttercup or yellow powder just to reverse contour because she got a chunky face and she got a, she got a, she got a sculpt. Yes, I know I put a lot of powder. I did. And I'm going to take this Black Radiance True Contour. Yes, I still have some left, but I bought a new one, so don't judge me. And I'm going to over contour my face. And I'm cool with that. And I'm using this Spice Market palette, the orange shade in there, which is like, it's an orange, but it's also got a highlight to it. And I'm gonna add, because I want more, we commit to a color when we do a color. This Sasha Cosmetics in the shade Burnt Orange. And this one is matte and it's super pigmented. So be careful if you don't want to look like Ronald McDonald. I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind it at all. I remember what the name of that blush was by NARS that I really want to try. That's a blush I might spend the money for. It's called Exhibit A. It's beautiful. So I'm going to take a chestnut lip liner. I need to wipe off some of this. Comics. The lipstick that I want to use is um, Style Shocked. Yes, that's the shade. Style Shocked. One of the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. And it is a burnt orange, I think. I personally don't care for these Powder Kiss lipsticks. I just don't care for the formula. And I'm gonna shine it up just with a Sephora gloss. Nothing fancy. Um, I have <laughs> I have this Hourglass Caution Max mascara. Like I said, it was a hundred point perk, and I had quite a bit of points, so I got a couple of goodies. And I'm not gonna share them all in this video because this video is long enough, and my energy is not quite where I like it to be when doing a video. So we're just gonna wrap this up. And the wand looks like this. The wand is fatter than I, I thought it would be. And it's real wet, cause it's new. I'm gonna stop because it's too juicy for me to keep adding and adding. And now I wanna highlight. What do I wanna highlight with? I want to highlight with, how y'all liking this eye? I'm gonna use this. First, I'm going to use this white looking one out the palette. And then I'm going to go on top of it with the gold. Or maybe I'll just mix them together. You want 
to take our hair down. Are we feeling ourselves? You know, I always turn the backlight off so you can see the truth. And we are glowing like a volcano. Oh my God, look at that glow. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mom, dad, your boss, your sister, your brother, your dog. Just share. Everybody needs to see what we're doing over here. We are putting out a lot of looks and we mixing a lot of shit. So until next time, thank you guys and smooches. Bye.